So how can we then succeed? And the, the, the good news is that, um, you know, somebody said, well, success comes from knowledge. Knowledge comes from, you know, good judgment comes from experience, and experience comes from bad judgment. <laughs> so earlier you make your mistakes, the better. Uh, so go out and make some good ones today. Uh, and then just to, to except for you. Uh, <laughs> you've already made, no, you haven't made your mistake. Uh, except for elder research employees, stop. No. <laughs> You have to be relatively tolerant of mistakes because you want an environment where um, people will own up to their mistakes, number one, but also where they'll experiment and take risks and won't be over penalized. Live environments give you some goodness for doing good and penalize you very badly for, doing, for making a mistake. And so people rationally be very extremely cautious under that scenario. So final words, I, I put this in uh, when I was talking to UVA students and I thought it's a little corny, but let me, let me just sum it up. A path to success, persistence. Attack the problem repeatedly from different angles. Automate the essential steps so you don't groan if you have to do it over again. Oh, we forgot to leave out the blue people. Now we got to do it again. And have others check your work. Some software development companies pay people to break their, their tool or they, they reward people. They'll have a little uh, contest week where everybody who you know, completes a module gets a point and everyone who breaks somebody else's module gets two points. You know, so you can spend all your time trying to break other people's stuff, and then the people with the most points get a fancy dinner out at a nice restaurant, and the person with the least points has to wear a beanie cap to work the next day with a propeller on it, you know, or something. So uh, that's kind of a cool. Anyway, a good attitude. Have an optimistic can-do attitude. A lot of problems really are solvable. And if they aren't solvable, they're at least dentable. You know, you can actually make progress, and that tends to be a self-fulfilling prophecy if you guys work together with the attitude that it can work. You need to team up with people who want the project to succeed. I know early in my career in the defense industry, sometimes uh, maybe because I was so young or maybe because it was a contracting industry, there were people who really wanted the project to fail because they were there for the long haul. And if this project failed, that might help them get support for a project they were really interested in. Whoa. That's an eye-opener for a young, naive you know, person who just assumes that everybody on the team wants a project to succeed. There might be somebody who owns the data who's really afraid of what you're going to find in that data. And they might be you know, passive-aggressive about cooperating with you. You've got to get them online early. You've got to get the, you know, the leader, their joint leader, to knock heads together and say, this is important to them. You have to find a way to make them look good also. You, wanna find, you want your clients to look good and have success from what you do. And lastly, humility. When we go into a room, we learn about a new field, we know the least about that field of anybody in the room. We have a lot to learn. And people will be very good about answering your questions if you ask them. And if you start to learn from the answers and stop asking the same questions over and over. So that learning from others, you have to be open, you have to be vulnerable, you have to have that confidence to not have to appear like you know it all. And also you need to have humility from what you expect from the technology. Try to convey some of the power of data mining, but also some of the risks and how we don't want to go too far. So data mining really still requires a lot of hard work and intelligence on the part of the analysts. Thank goodness it still needs us. And uh, so, but I hope you all can uh, succeed in your efforts as you go forward. So thanks for coming.